What on earth has life become? Walking around the streets like a bane. Yes, yes, yes. Old school chest and shoulder session coming your way very shortly. But first of all, let's talk about this thing, the mask. Since I've been wearing it, I have had a lot of people asking me about it. Where did I get it from? It's a cheap and cheerful one from Amazon. Do I recommend it? Well, you can breathe better, but it's definitely very cheap because it's already broken. This little ventilator on the right side has already fallen off, so there's a massive hole in it. But to be honest with you, I prefer it because it just means that you can breathe more, although it does really defeat the purpose of you wearing a mask to protect yourself and others. But hey, luckily in Dubai now, I knew they would get like this they've kind of relaxed the rules a little bit. So if you're doing strenuous exercise, you can take the mask off when you're doing it to breathe, obviously. But then once you've done the exercise or you've done your set or whatever, you're supposed to put it back on again. So it's still a bit of a weird one, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was beforehand. So here we are, train beach. It's a little bit annoying that it's out the way. It does take about 25 minutes to get here if the traffic's good. This is right by La Mer. The reason I like this place is it's a little bit quieter. The gym is always spotless. The equipment is in abundance. You can just tell like the kind of clientele that come here, this car park is always full of the most outrageous whips. Thank you. This here is one of the main reasons why I love this place. Sickest vibes. So today I'm just gonna take you through a raw chest and shoulder workout. Luckily we've got uh, some assistance with the filming today. Shout out to Keith for filming today's session. Yep. Uh, what's your okay. Instagram? At Keith. Uh, Keith Richard one. Yes, go okay. follow him. So today we're gonna to be starting off very slight incline dumbbell press. Over the past few weeks, obviously I've been training at home, but the dumbbells I've had only go up to 40 kilograms, which wasn't really heavy enough after a while. So we've been doing a lot of barbell pressing. We were working on quite a lot of strength. We got up to like 130. What? 130. We got, we got 130 for like eight reps. Yeah, for actual reps. And at the start, we were struggling at like 125. So it shows putting them focus on an exercise, you will 100% get stronger. So now we're going to take advantage of the dumbbells. One positive thing that came out of lockdown, I definitely got stronger. Because all I was doing was just sleeping, eating and training. No temptation to go out and party and drink or anything like that. The strength has gone up. Strangely. Oh, what a song for it. This song is legitimately called Fuck Corona, You Ain't Stopping Shit. Is it? Legit. Quite fitting, really. I think you could have your wrist. I've been away <laughs> for 36 hours because today is actually the hottest day of the year so far in Dubai. I know last night I was sweating. So I've been up all night, went to the gym at 7 a.m. Did, did my cardio. Probably running off 500 calories. 500 calories. 500 grams of caffeine. And then your shoes. These are the new kicks. Look at them bad boys. You know, you know you are in a clean gym when you commit to wearing your new kicks. Yeah. That is how clean this gym is. I can wear my brand new shoes and they will look the exact same as when I took them out of the box today. 
Easy. Easy eight this time. Let's go. See, come on. Yes, come on. Having someone to spot you when you're struggling and at that fighting point to just help you through it does help you get progressively stronger because yeah, I, we, we were both training like separately a lot. We started training together every single day and strangely our strength has Especially when you're doing barbell bench press. If you really want to progress with that, you need a spot. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna go on to is a standing lateral raise machine. This machine hits the spot. I've never even used it before until I came to Dubai. So we're gonna do four sets and we're gonna increase the number of reps with each set. So we're gonna like 10, 12, 15, and then the last set is gonna be a monstrous one. But we're gonna drop the weight as well. So this is going to be the last set, just the last all-out set. It's pretty much what I'm doing this whole routine. The last set of every exercise is just a complete failure. And with this one, I'm going to be dropping the weight. Basically just pumping it until I can't even move it anymore. Even if you're just doing a very slight range of motion at the bottom of the movement, you're still on this working machine, it down. On this machine, because it keeps you so tight, yeah. even like if you're moving two millimeters, you feel it. It's, with this, it stops you from cheating a little bit, whereas usually you would do that, you'd rock your body, and you'd bring, you basically stick your thumbs up. So you're moving all the tension onto your front delt. But we just want to try and keep it on the mid delt throughout the entire set. Give me a long one. Dumpty Dumpty. Right, we're gonna move on to <laughs> incline barbell press. I'm doing a lot of incline work because that's what I really want to be focusing on at the moment. And we don't really need to be doing any direct overhead pressing or front delt work because we're doing enough of that with the chest pressing which we're doing anyway. Mike, as we all know, has always lacked in the chest department, so he's trying to bring that up at the moment. That is why you need to spot, my friend. You know, when you turn up to mine, you're like, oh, I feel flat, I got like no strength, I don't know what's wrong with me. And it was because he wasn't having any rest days. Like, if, if you're training too many days consecutively, you just burn yourself out. I and you end up looking worse and feeling worse, and almost what? feeling ill. The number one thing from training with Mike is definitely, he's forced me to take rest days. So I'd be like, oh man, we'll train today. And he'd be like, we're taking a rest day, man. Just stay at home. And it's definitely benefited me because I've always been like power through, power through. You, you, you know, you look better, you feel better, whatever. But like, yeah. 
Definitely rest, especially in a deficit like now. Yeah. Rest is essential. So I always try to say to myself, after three consecutive days or four consecutive days of training, I have to force myself to have a rest day. And even though it sucks, that day after the rest day, you end up having like the most strength, the best pump, and the change match. of the settings. One thing that's nice is to have some smooth cables once again. The ones in uh, my apartment are not great. We're gonna do maybe four or five sets. This is one of my favorite ones for building the, uh, the mid delts. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to get set up, but once you're on it, it's good. First set's always the easiest, you're like, mm, is this really yeah, doing anything? Course. And then the first set you'll just smash through it, and then with the third set you're right. I think though, when you're training on when you're training on like the rig in your house, definitely like shoulders was okay, chest was very good, things like back, back and legs, legs. They just were not the same at all. So we've come back. I've dieted down a lot since since the last time we were here. So I'm trying to now think. After just giving out about machines and stuff, was the old style of training uh, more beneficial? So I remember you standing by the pool. It didn't look like that. No, so it's all. Man, it's everyone is showering him with compliments. I know. Give another two, three weeks. Because he's been Ooh. training with me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Man, if you've got a shit gym training partner, yeah, offload them. Just because they will destroy your sessions. If you've got someone to push you 110%, and it doesn't matter if the dude is huge or tiny, as long as you've just got someone that's gonna push you through a session, honestly you're just gonna progress because like a bad, wanna... a bad training partner could be a downfall. Man, that's that's it. If you've got someone that's gonna go like one more rep when you wanna stop, then you're gonna do it. This video is going to be demonetized so quick. <laughs> the amount of songs on it. I ain't making any money off this video. <laughs> Dirty bench that one. <laughs> right, so now I'm gonna do a seated cable chest fly. One thing I've noticed from all these years of doing flies, when you get to the point where you're actually shifting quite a bit of weight, it's very difficult to do when you're standing up because you're wobbling all over the place. So anytime I do it now, I like to make sure that I'm grounded and locked in position. So just putting a bench in front of the cable machine, make sure that your torso isn't gonna be rocking backwards and forwards. Delt work gets done on back day. It actually, it actually does. Yeah. No, but it's like we literally do like rear delt focused exercises on back day. Session done. 
I'm sure everyone a condition check. It's been a while. Fresh out of lockdown. I feel like I've definitely pulled some size. The goal now is to maintain as much size as possible, but just get a little bit leaner. It'd be good if I knew how to pose properly. <laughs> I don't have a clue how to pose. <laughs> It's extremely clean. It's good though. It's like they've got a lot of new stuff here, I think. There's some that I haven't seen. So that is the session complete. And before I wrap up this video, I just want to chat to you guys about a little something, something. So obviously I'm creeping up close to the milli mark and I wanted to know what kind of content you guys want me to provide. Because I started off this YouTube channel doing the whole, it was mainly fitness and nutrition. And I kind of branch out, I try out, you know, doing different things. Some people are fans, other people are not fans. But hey, I like trying different things. It keeps things interesting and you never know what can come from it. But anyway, I did a little poll on Instagram to see what people preferred if they had to choose one over the other. So if they had to choose either the fitness, training and nutrition videos or like lifestyle vlogs and travel videos. And it was surprisingly even, right? 44% of people voted for the vlogs and the lifestyle and 56% voted for training and nutrition. So it is a bit of a split decision. Obviously most people were saying that they wanted both and that's what I'm gonna be doing in the future, a mixture of both. I like a bit of balance, right? I like to make videos which I enjoy doing and like the video I just did then, that was fun. But I do like to mix it up and try different things. So if you guys have a particular preference, just leave a comment below because I'm always eager to hear what you guys wanna see. But as the Instagram poll says, it's pretty even. So I will continue to have a nice little balance of both within this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually subscribe after me saying, please subscribe. Sounds a bit desperate, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.